afternoon guys welcome back to another video as you can see my hair is looking a little different today I have made myself my very own sea salt spray so I've made my own salt spray today so it's something you use to achieve that beach wavy kind of looking hair which is just like the bomb I love that kind of hairstyle so earlier this year February I think it was my family and I went up to the Gold Coast in Australia so it's in Queensland the bottom of Queensland anyway the thing I love about like holidays by the sea is that when you're swimming all the time your hair gets that wavy beachy kind of look and it's like so pretty I just love that look so much so good so I wanted to recreate that so I didn't always have to go back to the beach so I went looking around and I found a sea salt spray that you can make at home that's all natural so it contains no harmful chemicals that get your hair looking beachy getting those beach vibes going getting that volume those waves that everyone loves it's so simple to make takes you two minutes now this recipe uses Epsom salts rather than sea salt so it doesn't dry out your hair as much which is a bonus because it's nice to have beachy hair but you don't want it to be too dry and like create like hard and rough and it's not very good so it keeps your hair looking soft and smooth with the waves and it also has oil, natural oils in it to help keep moisturize and keep that hair looking hydrated so if you guys are interested in achieving mermaid hair stay watching because I'm about to show you the amazing recipe so to begin with collect your spray bottle it needs to hold at least 10 ounces if you get a bigger size that's awesome you can just double the recipe to fill that bottle up then you're gonna grab one cup of hot water not boiling water though just hot if you like as the base, you can use chamomile tea if you desire to lighten your hair or black tea as the base if you want to darken your hair. But you'll need to keep the spray in the fridge if you do this. So with the hot water, pour it into the bottle with two tablespoons of Epsom salts. You can add more if you want for, for increased texture if you want to. So if you want to make your hair look more texturized, just put a bit more of Epsom salt in. You're also going to add half a teaspoon of Himalayan or sea salt to the bottle of water and Epsom salt which just helps to add some stiffness to your hair. Then you're going to add one teaspoon of aloe vera gel. This is an optional ingredient, which is half a teaspoon of a conditioner. So a few drops of almond oil or jojoba oil work well, but you don't have to use it if you have fine oily hair. I didn't use it because my hair is quite oily, so I didn't need it. Next, you're going to add in a few drops of essential oils. I use lavender because it's just my favorite. I love the smell. It smells amazing. I just use it in everything. So that's my go-to, but you can use whatever essential oil you like. And then another optional ingredient is to add one teaspoon of lemon juice plus one teaspoon of vodka or alcohol. You can use this if you want to lighten your hair. The lemon juice lightens while the alcohol preserves. So this is just an optional additive if we want to do that. I didn't need to do that. Then all you're going to do is place the lid back on the bottle and shake it for around one to two minutes or until you can see that the Epsom and Himalayan salt has dissolved. If you're using lemon juice or tea in the mixture, store it in the fridge. But if you're not, it's fine to keep at room temperature. The mixture will last for around three to four months or more. So there's a few ways to use this spray. One of them is to spray the mixture onto damp hair, then scrunch your hair with a towel to dry for loose beach waves. The second way to use it is to spray the solution onto dry hair and onto your roots of your hair for volume and texture without the waves. And the third way to use it is if you have thin, straight hair and you desire the wave look to last all day, simply wash your hair the night before, then spray your hair with the mixture while it's still damp. Then you can either French braid it into pigtails or wrap it into a scrunched bun on top of your head. Then leave it overnight. By the time morning arrives, your hair should be nice and dry. Spray some more of the solution onto your hair, then take out the braids or, or bun. And there you have it, all day beach wave hair. If you want more stiffness, just spray a little more onto your hair, then scrunch again. Nailed it! And there you have it, beach wave hair! It's so awesome I love it so much it's just a nice hairdo to sort of go out in it makes you look really kind of beachy gives it gets those beach vibes going even though you're not at the beach it's just some something fun to do I just really love wearing it out like just during the day I wear it to work I wear it out with my friends just wear it any time of day just because it's so cool I love this type of hair 
So if you guys love beachy kind of hair as much as I do, feel free to share in the comments below times when you guys have had beach wave hair or when you've worn hair, like sprayed your hair with the sea salt spray and gone out and worn your hair like this. Tell me the little stories you guys have of those times. I love hearing about it. Otherwise, if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to join our fam, subscribe below in the corner. It'd be great to have you on board with us. Otherwise, I wish you all a wonderful day and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.